Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. How do you know a prophet when his words come to pass? God has been using our new generation prophet I.O. Samuel J.P. in the lives of individuals and nations across the continent and around the world through accurate prophecies, instant healings through the mantles of Shiloh Wat Chapel, direct one-on-one -on -one prophecies of accurate events around the world. As is written in the scriptures in the book of Deuteronomy 18 verses 21 and 22, Hosea chapter 12 verse 13, Amos chapter 3 verses 6, 67 and Revelation 19:10 The Lord cannot do anything without showing his prophet Prophetic Confirmation 2015. We began with an astounding story of survival and endurance. A seven year old girl was the only one left alive after a plane crash in Kentucky. She walked nearly a mile through the woods in her bare feet to get help. This morning, officials can't say enough about the little girl's bravery. They say that she could help them understand why the plane went down. Adriana Diaz is in Catawba, Kentucky, near the scene of Friday night's crash. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. Behind me are the treacherous woods that seven-year-old Sailor Gutzler went through to find help. She was alone and in the pitch dark. This is the mangled wreckage site seven-year-old Sailor Gutzler managed to walk away from alive after the plane she was riding in crashed, killing her father, a former commercial pilot who was at the controls, her mother Kim, nine-year-old sister Piper, and 14-year-old cousin Sierra Wilder. She believed that her family was, was deceased, uh, but she hoped that they were just sleeping. Kentucky authorities say Sailor used her non-injured arm to free herself. Wearing just shorts and a t-shirt, she trekked nearly a mile through a heavily wooded area barefoot in near freezing temperatures. She navigated briars and bushes. She navigated uh, significant depth ditch lines in order to receive assistance for her family. Eventually, the second grader spotted this porch light. 71-year-old Larry Wilkins answered the door. I've seen a, a, a bloody little girl with tears in her eyes, her lips trembling. Sailor was taken to a nearby hospital where she was treated for a broken wrist before being released to a relative. What did she say to you when she got into the ambulance? <laughs> I can't talk about that. <laughs> she wanted me to go with her because I wish she didn't know anybody else. Pray for everyone that uses private jets in Nigeria and other foreign nations. Crews removed what was left of the aircraft. Sailor's eyewitness account will likely be key to finding out exactly what went wrong. What do you think brought her to your door? I think the good Lord had something to do with it, you know. And I think he's probably got plans for her. The bravest kid I've ever seen in my life. We spoke to the family of 14-year-old Sierra Wilder, who was killed in the crash. In a statement to CBS News, her mother told us, my baby girl was the sweetest, kindest person you will ever come across. Words cannot express how much she is missed now and forever. Gail. Adriana, thank that is. We just have to stop for just a second. That's just the most amazing story. Mm -hmm. And the little shirt she was wearing. What yeah. did it say, Nora? It said, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. We are all mm -hmm. pulling for her. Thank you, Adriana. Thank you very much.